Hey, what is up you guys? This is Steffi, AKA In My Humble Opinion, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm giving my final Oscar 2021 predictions. And we're gonna go through not every single category, but we're gonna go through all the acting categories, the writing categories, the directing, and the best picture category. Basically all the categories that I ranked over the past couple of days is what I will be predicting. I feel like really emotionally invested in this year's Oscars in a way that I haven't been ever because I actually have seen a good chunk of these movies. Like all the movies that were nominated in the categories that I'm breaking down today, I watched all those movies and I reviewed all of them on my channel. So if you haven't seen a certain movie review that I did, I'll link up here in the movie playlist and you could like search for that video. But yeah, I'm really happy that I, I saw the best picture nominees. I've never done that in my life and I've always wanted to do that, but I finally did it. So, all right, so let's get into it. Let's break down these, uh, predictions. Okay, so best supporting actor. We have Daniel Kaluuya for Judas and the Black Messiah, Sasha Baron Cohen for Trial of the Chicago 7, Leslie Odom Jr. for One Night in Miami, Lakeith Stanfield for Judas and the Black Messiah, and Paul Racy for Sound of Metal. Who do I think is gonna win? I think Daniel Kaluuya is a shoe in to win. I feel like he's pretty much swept throughout the entire award season. And I really do feel like he is the one that is the most deserving of the five. So yeah, I'm gonna predict Daniel Kaluuya to win. Best Supporting Actress, oh my goodness. Okay, so we have Yoo Jung Yun for Minari, Amanda Seyfried for Mank, Maria Bakalova for Borat's subsequent movie film, Olivia Coleman for The Father, and Glenn Close for Hillbilly Elegy. So I personally feel like it is a two-way race between Yoo Jung Yun and Maria Bakalova. I know Maria Bakalova won at the Critics, Yoo Jung Yun won at the SAG. I... I really want it to be Yoo Jung Yun. I really hope she wins. Is she gonna win? Gosh. Well, I mean, for sure it's either her or Maria Bakalova. Amanda Seyfried is the least likely to win. Same with Glenn Close. I don't see her winning. Maybe Olivia Coleman can surprise everyone again and somehow win. But I really think it's between Yoo Jung Yun and Maria Bakalova. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna believe in the power of Yoo Jung Yun and that's who I'm predicting can potentially win for Best Supporting Actress. Okay, Best Actor, Chadwick Boseman for Ma Rainey, Riz Ahmed for The Sound of Metal, Steven Yun for Minari, Anthony Hopkins for The Father, Gary Oldman for Mank. I'm pretty sure it's Chadwick Boseman. Like I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's gonna be Chadwick Boseman. He's swept all award season. If there was someone who could potentially take it by surprise, I really think it would be Anthony Hopkins. I don't see Gary Oldman, you know, unfortunately I don't see Steven Yun doing this. Riz Ahmed has a better chance than those two guys, but really if there were to be someone else that wasn't Chadwick, it would probably be Anthony Hopkins. At least in my heart it would be but I, I predict that Chadwick Boseman is gonna, is gonna win. First and foremost, it's a good performance. Secondly, I feel like that's more his movie than Viola Davis. And third, you know, I think the fact that he did pass away, unfortunately, not saying that's the reason why they're giving it to him, but it's a narrative. And I feel like award season, award shows, they like narratives and they've given posthumous awards before and they would use this win as a way of really giving Chadwick Boseman his due, his respect, his flowers. So yeah, I think, I think it's Chadwick. All right, best actress. Oh Lord, this is, this is another one. Woo, okay. Carrie Mulligan for Promising Young Woman, Frances McDormand for Nomadland, Andre Day for United States versus Billie Holiday, Vanessa Kirby for Pieces of a Woman, Viola Davis for Ma Rainey. Ooh. Just wanna say, I think I said this during my tier ranking video, but if any of these five women take it, like I will be really happy because I think all five of these performances are solid. There's not one performance in here that I'm like, God, if she wins, I'll be so pissed. Like truly, like all of the ladies here are great. <sighs> but I do think it's between Carrie Mulligan and Andre Day. <laughs> but that's the interesting thing about this category in particular is that I don't think there's any one particular person that's in the lead because Andre Day won at the Golden Globes. 
she beat these other ladies. Viola Davis recently won at the SAG Awards. Granted, Andre Day wasn't there. Amy Adams was there instead, but Viola Davis won the SAG. And then at the Critics' Choice, Carrie Mulligan won there. So, oh, really like, gosh, it could be anyone's race. But for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Carrie Mulligan. Okay, so best adapted screenplay, we have Nomadland, One Night in Miami, White Tiger, The Father, Borat, subsequent movie film. I really don't know who the front runner is here. I think Nomadland might be the front runner, but low key, I'd be like a little, uh, if it won, like I want The Father to win best adapted screenplay. And damn it, this might be a gamble, but I'm gonna stick with The Father because for me, okay, Let's face it, The Father is not gonna win Best Picture. Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman deliver really strong performances in the movies. Now, can they win their category? Ugh, I don't think Olivia Coleman, like I would have her in third. Anthony Hopkins, I would have him in second. But now that I talked out those two categories, I really feel like it's locked with other people. I think this is a way of rewarding that movie is by giving it best adapted screenplay. So I'm gonna go with The Father. Best original screenplay, we have Promising Young Woman, Trot of the Chicago 7, Minari, Judas and the Black Messiah, Sound of Metal. I think it's a race between Trial and Promising Young Woman. And I'm gonna predict that Promising Young Woman is going to get it. It's just like really culturally relevant right now. And honestly, not to say that I don't like Trial of the Chicago 7, but we've seen that before from Aaron Sorkin. So if Trial wins over a promising young woman like that is a defeat and a win that I will be really upset about so I think out of all the movies here this is the movie that when it first came out a lot of people were talking about it and was very divisive and that's a bold script right there and not to say that like anything that's bold is good but this was a very thought-provoking movie and I don't think any of the other films in this category at least in terms of its script had the same like ripple effect in the conversation so promising young woman okay so best director Chloe Zhao for Nomadland, Thomas Vinterberg for Another Round, David Fincher for Mank, Lee Isaac Chung for Minari, and Emerald Fennell for Promising Young Woman. I think this is a lock. I think it's Chloe Zhao. I don't think this has to be discussed any further. Like, it would be really shocking if she doesn't win at this point, but it's it's Chloe Zhao. Moving on, Best Picture, Nomadland, Travel the Chicago 7, Minari, Promising Young Woman, Mank, Judas and the Black Messiah, The Father, and Sound of Metal. I think it's Nomadland. It swept all awards season. I believe it's been doing well with like the Guild Awards as, as well. So I'm gonna go with Nomadland. It's a new kind of story. And in terms of its like filmmaking approach, it's just different. I just feel like the Academy has a really great opportunity to recognize a different filmmaker, a different kind of movie this year. So I think Nomadland would be number one. But I will say, I feel like Minari has been picking up in the conversation as well as Judas and the Black Messiah. So, but I'm gonna stick with, I'm gonna stick with Nomadland for my best picture predictor. All right, well, that is about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out and comment down below your thoughts on your predictions for this year's Oscars, even for other categories that I didn't get a chance to talk about in this video. Let me know any Oscar prediction that you have for this year, comment down below. I'd be happy to read. And then I guess we'll see how much we get right this year. So I'm planning on filming my reaction to, you know, the Oscar winners. I'm gonna be watching it with my dad this year and I'm sure my mom will pop in at some point, but yeah, I'm gonna be, filming that video and releasing it like I did last year. So watch out for that either Sunday, it will probably be up on Monday. So yeah, look out for that. But you guys, we're almost there. Wow, what a journey for this channel. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As always, everything I said was just my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.